Okay, my name is Janek Pasteur. I'm a professor of applied macroeconomics here at DM Tech at the ETH of Zurich. And at the same time, I'm head of the KOF Swiss Economic Institute, which is a research institute basically doing business cycle forecasting. Yes, well, with the institute, uh, we are probably most well known for all our activities surrounding economic forecasting. What we actually have is a survey of 11 to 12,000 Swiss firms who we regularly ask about their own economic situation. And those results are very valuable because it allows us to really have a feeling for what's currently going on in the Swiss economy. And we use that for forecasting activities. On top of that, we can also use the same kind of information to do all kinds of other analysis. Like for instance, understanding how firms plan into the future, how uh, expectations regarding inflations are being determined and what role the central bank plays in these kind of uh, concepts. Yes. Uh, on the teaching side, uh, we basically try to use this kind of information as well to make it more attractive for the students to learn the macroeconomic theories. Uh, well, there are many examples possible. One I could think of on the top of my mind is, is a project in which we try to link, on the one hand, central banks, um, on the other hand, firm behavior, in particular regarding price developments or future price developments, because as a firm you basically have to determine yourself when to raise prices, to what extent, etc. And how is that being influenced by the central bank? There is an intermediate in between the media because they basically translate whatever is going on in the world of the central bankers into a language which these firms probably really understand. Yes. So that, these are mechanisms which actually affect daily life quite substantially. Uh, we've had a, a long, uh, deep crisis in 2008, 2009 and due to that central banks around the world had to start communicating what they're doing much more clearly than before because there was a huge amount of uncertainty and what we try to analyze is how these firms react to that kind of uncertainty on the one hand and how the central bank communication helps them well, circumvent or find ways through this. As well, I teach, among other things, also a course called Monetary Policy. And in that particular course, we not only try to teach the students what the current state of technology is, so what are the current models which economies use to understand central bank behavior, but we also really very often look at the true data. We look at what has happened over the last couple of years, what has happened since the Great Recession, uh, and how did central banks actually move about. So we bring the data, reality in that sense, macroeconomic reality, to the students, and we really discuss with them what has been going on there and why did they do what they actually did. Well, I think they have to be very broad-minded. Uh, on the one hand, they need a technological background. They need to be acquainted with, for instance, a certain amount of mathematics. Uh, at the same time, they need to be open enough to really go into very different areas. Because what we offer at MTech is very broad on purpose, because what we actually want the student to learn is how to deal with problems, how to solve these problems, how to think about these problems. And it's, learning, it's learning how to think as an academic and how you can do problem solving in real life. Yes, with, with my chair we are working in the field of monetary economics, monetary policy, these kind of issues. So we try to teach the students basically how to understand what's going on ar around them. How does the overall economic developments actually affect themselves? Yes, that's very important because you will always work in a certain kind of macroeconomic environment. And how is that going to uh, change your decision-making processes? Um, I think what the big advantage of Intech is, is that people actually learn how to learn. And that's a tool which you will be needing after your, um, your degree always, basically. Especially in the more challenging job positions which are out there. 